We're joined today by John Payne, the author of This Week in Grains and Oil Seeds. And John, as we look at kind of the overall commodity markets and the kind of the macro economy of the world, there's a few headwinds or, or some challenges out there that are kind of on the horizon, but maybe some things that, that could help also. Well, there's always a mystery. So, you know, I know you do a daily show and I do a newsletter myself. I mean, the, 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 the sun rises every morning and really the, the only bet we can be certain of is that it's going to rise again the next morning. And that's the hope, right? But when you look out in the future here, the uncertainty of the, the near-term macroscope, really when it comes to commodity producers, and in that sense, you have Russia, which is, you know, dominates the Black Sea um, and really the, uh, the, the emerging market world of, uh, of wheat purchasing. So I think countries that are poor, uh, than others maybe, and uh, whereas we dominate the markets more to develop countries, specifically in Asia. So I think you have um, what happens if, if all of a sudden Russia says, hey, you know, we're getting sanctions because of this invasion. Um, you know, our wheat prices have skyrocketed. We're not going to sell to the export markets anymore. So what, what happens to that point? Well, the U.S. producer will be called to step up. And I think given the prices where we are, we're not at a point where I don't think we can run away. So um, that's the first step. You want to watch the ruble dollar. I think, mm. um, you know, the ruble, pe people are going to look back on the invasion of Crimea and point towards, oh, wheat prices spiked. And it's like, yeah, they did. But a lot of that was off the, the, the currency fluctuations that came from the Russian ruble. And if we get that again, the, the question that macro analysts are going to have is the producer in, Brazil, in uh, Russia going to grow more wheat? Because that was the response to the pre previous invasion was, hey, we don't, where currency is that much weak, we've got to export something, let's grow more wheat. Can they do that again if we continue to see that leg higher? So that's one to watch. And then the other is really China as the Olympics start. Uh, that combined with how this new world's going to look like. I'm pretty optimistic myself, uh, just in the data and the science that I've followed that, um, you know, in my part of the world here in northern Illinois, uh, things are going to open up and normalize. I think I'm taking the cue from the British yesterday uh, when, uh, you know, they announced they're dropping mass mandates and all, all uh you know, all measures to protect. And I think that's that's going to open a floodgate of demand from, from where I sit. All right. Well, it'll be something to watch. Obviously, a pretty dynamic and changing situation, but uh, very important as far as markets go on into the future. John, thank you so much for being here. We'll be back thank with you. coming up in just a minute. To find John's newsletter, This Week in Grain and Oil Seeds, head over to www.thisweekingrain.com.